Hi guys and welcome back, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a matcha coconut cake, let's begin. To get started on the recipe today, you'll want to grab yourself a large mixing bowl and into the mixing bowl place your butter and your sugar and beat them together until they are lighter and fluffier in colour and consistency. This is normally around 7-10 to 10 minutes, but it all depends and varies on the climate that you live in. Once you've achieved light and fluffy, you can then go ahead and add in your eggs one at a time, beating while in between each addition, being careful not to split or scramble the mixture in the process, as this can happen if you add them both at the same time, but allow them time to mix and fully work in. You're looking for the mixture to look something like this, so it's pretty well come together. Then you can go ahead and add in your flour in three batches and your coconut milk in two. So you'll start with flour and end with flour. So it goes flour, milk, flour, milk, flour. That's what you're looking for. It doesn't need to be in perfectly equal additions, but roughly equal as possible would work best. And you'll notice that your cake batter takes on that classic silky cake batter as you add these ingredients, and that is what you're looking for. It's perfect. Add in your coconut extract, and feel free to add in vanilla extract, extract as well. This will work just well as a base flavor. Then go ahead and give the bowl a good scraping down. This is just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. And just once you've got those incorporated and fully mixed in, you can then go ahead and divide the cake batter between two cake tins. Again, you can do more if you wanted to, but you may need to in in increase the amount of ingredients. So today I'm just making a two layer cake. Spread a level of them off as best you possibly can and then place them into the oven and bake them off. All that information will be in the blog post, which will be linked down below. So don't forget to check it out. To start on the buttercream, you'll want to grab your matcha and add enough vanilla to make a liquid with it. You're not looking for a paste, you're actually looking for a liquid mixture. So mix until you've got this kind of dark, swampy green looking mixture. Set aside until you need it later on. Then you can go ahead and make your French buttercream set into a saucepan, place your sugar and water, mix the two together until they're fully incorporated. Then place on the hob and allow them to reach 121 degrees Celsius. While you're waiting for that, you can go ahead and grab yourself a live mixing bowl and place in your egg yolks followed by your egg and whisk these on a high speed until the mixture has quadrupled in volume and it should be much paler and lighter in colour and this is completely normal and what you are looking for. So once your eggs have quadrupled in volume and your sugar mixture has come up to 121 degrees Celsius, you can steadily and carefully pour that into the mixing bowl over a low speed. Once you've added it in, you can turn it up to a high speed and mix until it's fully cool, so the back of your hand can touch the bottom of the bowl. Then add your butter bit by bit until the mixture has thickened. It should look a little something like this. You know, it should be, it should hold its shape and everything very well. Then add in the matcha that you made earlier on and whisk this in until it's fully incorporated. It will take on this beautiful color and it works really well. So it not only flavors, but colors it as well. Place this into a bowl and allow it to firm up. I was making this on a very hot day, so be careful if you're making this on a hot day. Grab your plate, board or stand, and then you can go ahead and place on your first layer of cake, making sure you've placed a small amount of buttercream on the bottom to secure the cake in place. Then on top, pipe your buttercream around the edge, creating a border, then fill that border in with the buttercream. And again, just smooth and level that off so it's level when we stack the cake. So you just want to put your second layer on. These are dense layers of cake. When I say dense, I don't mean, you know, like dense and heavy. They are chunky layers of cake. Then you can take the remainder of your buttercream and pipe it around the outside of the cake. You, again, you can do a crumb coat if you want to, but it's not necessary at this stage as the cake isn't crumbly. And if you're careful, you won't get crumbs in it. With the remaining pipe, buttercream in the piping bag, place it on top. Spread on level it out until you've got a level layer around the top. Again, it won't be perfect for now, but once you've scraped the sides, you'll be able to fix those imperfections. And again, this cake can be pretty rustic as the colour and flavour speak for themselves on this one. So once you're happy with the cake, you can then go ahead and place a swirl on top just using a palette knife. And then go ahead and place pipe around the edge of the cake. You can do rosettes, but I wanted something a little bit different, so I just pipe these little kisses on top. That was just to keep it simple, but also classy in a way then top these kisses with some flakes or you can even use desiccated coconut it's optional but as soon as it's a matcha coconut cake adding more coconut would not harm it and here is what it looks like on top from the top angle as you can tell it's very simple very basic i've also put the cut marks in so you can cut it up and you get equal portions
So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me, as I'll be back again very soon with another recipe, so join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description, there'll be a link to this recipe, a link to my blog and a link to all my social medias. But that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.